Okay, in this video I'm going to code up this grid points edit text box. This is the last edit text box that we're going to need for this GUI. It's going to be done in the same, a similar way uh, that we did the airfoil type up here because we need a couple of checks. So the first thing I want to do is I want to load in uh, in grid points. You can see that this was the variable that we had up here. It's the same grid points. Let me scroll back down here, grid points, and I do want to change this to a double because we don't want a string, we actually want the double. And I'll do get h object, get the string, like that, and then we can assign that into the base workspace as per usual. And now we want a couple of checks, and the checks that I want is I want to make sure we have more than two grid points. And that's important because the way that the code works is that um, is that you specify a number of grid points and it calculates the upper and lower surfaces. And, and so the number of grid points that you specify, if I specify 100 grid points, it puts 100 grid points on the top surface and 100 grid points on the lower surface. Let's say we have one grid point. It puts one on the top and one on the bottom. That doesn't define the airfoil. If we have two grid points, it puts one at the leading edge, one at the trailing edge for both the top and the bottom, and that just defines a line. Uh, so we need more than two grid points. We actually want three grid points minimum. I mean, that's going to give you a terrible airfoil shape, but at least it'll run and not look stupid. So uh, the first thing I'm going to set is if grid points is greater than two, whoops, greater than two, then I'm going to set the handles dot text status. So the status text. I'm going to set the string to say ready to plot, which means we're good to go, ready to plot. And I can actually copy uh, some of this from up here because it's the same. And I'm going to set it to uh, black, and then I'm going to say that it's going to draw it. It's going to draw the actual text status, and it's going to say yes, it's okay to plot. And I'm going to say else, otherwise, we'll take this here, bring it here, put an end there, and then instead of saying ready to plot, I will say enter uh, enter value larger than two, and then I'm going to set that color to red, and then we're going to say that no, it's not okay to plot anymore. And then I'm going to assign in the flag plot variable so that it updates. So now if I run this, open this up, it's initially set to grid points 100, which means that it's OK. The flag plot says it's OK. If I set this to 1, though, flag plot goes to 0, says it's not OK to plot anymore. This changes to enter a value larger than 2. If I change this to 2, I press enter. Grid points is two. It's still not okay to plot, and it, you still have to enter a value larger than two. Let's say I enter three now. Now it's ready to plot. Flag plot says, okay, you can plot, and grid points is equal to three. Okay, so that's it for that video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.